Hi everybody, another great day, but more like October than November at 62 and 86, both numbers well above normal, just like yesterday. And that rainfall deficit closing in on six inches for the year. Our sunrise tomorrow morning, 648, setting early all the time now at 540. It's amazing after the six o'clock news is over, it's dark outside. Here's the frontal system. You can see it right there. It's uh, cleared San Antonio where there's 73. 80 here. This is a very weak front. It's not generating any rain, just a few clouds that are showing up on our sky cam uh, out to the west. And we showed you earlier in Beeville on our weather bug camera. 80 right now in Corpus Christi will be down to 69 by 11 o'clock tonight. But notice the winds calm to light out of the north. So again, uh, this is the weakest of all fronts uh, coming through in November. Now ahead of it, we're actually going to see a little fog form here again overnight, but not too bad. This is uh, through about 1 a.m. And then the drier air comes in and it shoves the fog away. But our southern counties, Kingsville, between there and Falfurius and Premont, over to Hebronville and Benavides, maybe out to Freer, we'll see the fog in the morning, but not northern counties if you are traveling, depending on who you are and where you are. Here's the wind forecast. And again, you can see how the winds are light out of the north after uh, being calm early on in the nighttime hours. But 7 o'clock in the morning, a light north wind and it's right back out of the east. When it turns easterly, that's when our front just washes out. So uh, no punch, no power, and no rain, and no big cool down. By the time we get to Thursday morning, a light northeast wind, and we'll have fog back in the forecast again with light easterly winds again here on Thursday afternoon. Amazing how light the winds are. So we're going to be down to 61 here in Corpus Christi tonight, but 69 in Port Aransas, 59 in Alice, 58 in George West. And for tomorrow, the high temperatures will be a little bit lower than they were today, at least here. We'll go from 86 today down to 83. 70s along the coast, 81 though in Rockport, ranging up to 88 in Alice and 86 for Freer. It's going to be warm inland tomorrow with the drier air in place and the light winds. So there's our frontal system. Again, the cold air is moving northeast, not coming in on the back side of this. And the warm air is out ahead of it. You can see our tropical system Ada still off the uh, northwestern tip of Cuba there. And in the southeastern Gulf, again, that's going to end up, as you see on our uh, forecast track from the Hurricane Center, in the Florida Panhandle by the end of this week and into the weekend. And it looks like it's going to be a strong tropical storm initially with 70 mile an hour winds uh, by tomorrow night or a minimal hurricane west of Tampa, Florida. It's going to go right around this high. It's right here. It's going to go right around the high and uh, on into the southeastern U.S. That's going to drag it in, so that's good news. So if you see right here, by the time we get to late in the uh, weekend, here's Saturday, and then eventually Sunday and Monday, we've got a little bit of a northwesterly flow coming in from the Pacific, so that's a, a little bit stronger front. It is November, even though the jet stream's way to the north. Well, that's why we can't get any rain of significance, but we are going to see a little bit of a cool down. So here we go, pleasant, warm, and dry. For Veterans Day, 61 and 83, 61 and 85 Thursday, 82 Friday. Saturday, we're at 83 again, 84 for Sunday. There's the front, Sunday night, early Monday. There'll be a few sprinkles with the front, but that's it. But here's what I'm talking about. If it can't be cold, it might as well be cool. And we'll have highs in the 70s Monday and Tuesday. And by the time we get to Tuesday morning, we'll be at 54 degrees. That's better than what we've had. 